to the Game On exhibition that is at the Science Center opening kind of tomorrow, I guess, but is we it? get to no. go to it today. It's not opening tomorrow. All right, it's opening soon, but we get a sneak peek at it because we're with your kilobytes, hooray. And it sounds amazing. There's this cool music happening. Who's that by? Sean Hatton, DJ Finisham. Link in the to his music if you want to buy it. That's right. Can't really hear it, but we might do a collaboration with Sick Kids and Sean Hatton. Oh, there's fluff from my new shirt. So we're going to go in. We'll show you guys around. Jade's going to give you most of the tour. It's amazing in there. It's a nerd haven. If you live in Toronto, you have to check this out. It's amazing. There's over 160 games in here. Hey, your shirt looks good. Hey, thanks. You, you fit right, right between your breasts. Right between perfectly. Let's go. the doors you can hear all the amazing sounds of arcade games starting with Pong yes yes they have Pong as well as a bunch of wonderful pinball machines and it just keeps getting better and better I can't wait to draw them all so right now we're in the uh, portable section of game on and this is insane this is insane 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 some of the like what do we see here Tamagotchi Tamagotchi and then if you go around here here's some of the classic game and watches which are spectacular. The white uh, Game Gear, which, you know, I think it's pretty hard to get a hold of. This actually we have on set. Doesn't that look familiar? Sega Nomad. That thing was a dream. That was amazing. Check out some of this other stuff here. So, classic uh, Pac-Man stand-up, classic Donkey Kong. Then over here we got some... So this is when we're getting into the, the N-Gage. The, there's two versions of the N-Gage, I believe. Over here, lots of Nintendo stuff. So we have uh, original Game Boys, Game Boy Light. That was the first Game Boy with the actual light attached inside of it. Over here, this is when we're getting into the DS. So we have, behind it actually, we have some uh, of the Game Boy Advances. To, it's crazy to see these all together and then come all this way. And then over here, we have the Sony uh, PSPs. These, as you can see, are getting better as they go. Look at that last model. This model, I think, is the... I think this is the special edition that came with Monster Hunter, so this is a lot harder to find than any of the other ones here. But I don't see the Vita. I think the Vita's over here. You can actually play lots of these games. So we're going, you know, all the way from the 3DS down to the DS down here to... Come check this out. This is crazy. What is this? This is... I don't even know what this is. Look at this thing. If you could film in there, check that out. This is amazing, the original Atari Star Wars game. I played this as a kid, Buck Rogers from 82. Never played this one, you play a cat? No, I haven't played it. The ever so famous Tron. Tron, now the movie just came out recently. Look, they even have a section for Goldeneye. What's amazing about this exhibit is the, the amount of detail that it has all here. So each, each of these exhibits have a little bit of a, like a detailed spreadsheet on the console to let you know what it is. Obviously, we know what this is. If you don't know what this is... See, I'm, I'm actually a Nintendo champion. See? So another cool thing that they actually feature here is some of the original artwork that was used for the posters and such. This right here is an early Tomb Raider artwork sketch courtesy of Crystal Dynamics and Square Enix. So this is like, this is crazy to see this. And as you move along, you can see the transformation. Look at the detail in her vagina area. She actually has a camel toe in this photo. Then we have a stand-up Laura Croft, of course. They pronounce love to her. I'm even saying her name wrong. Naughty Dog was kind enough to actually give some of the artwork from Jack and Daxter. <clears throat> so if you're a Jack and Daxter fan and you're in the Toronto area, this is just amazing to see here. This reminded me of you, Kat. This always reminds me of you. <laughs> So this is the console area that's showing off all the different consoles from all the different years. So let's take a quick look at some of the stuff they have here. So this is some game that doesn't seem to be working. This is the ASCA2. Um, I've never, I, don't, I haven't played this. Have you played this, Cat? No. It's going to be amazing to actually go through and play all these games. So this is obviously some sort of uh, shooter, which is actually a lot of fun. Jesus, what is this thing? The Panasonic R2? No, the Panasonic Turbo R. Look at it. Can you imagine growing up with games like this? So I'm playing Castlevania on this thing. This is from uh, 83. So I just literally, two years prior, came out of my mom's vagina. 
the Nintendo Famicom. This is here, I don't know if you can get a close-up of that, but this was the, uh, the Japanese Nintendo. Came out in the 90s, uh, sorry, came out in... 83. Yeah, whatever, 83. So as you can see, Super Mario on it. This is the, the classic Super Mario, though. Okay, you can play. No, you can't play. Do you remember this? Yes, I do. I love this one. I like the turtle reminds me of you and your old nose. So this is hilarious. This is the Odyssey with, back in the day, they gave you these sheets that you put over your television. Cat says it doesn't work, but believe it or not, it, it actually is working. That's meant to be there, to give it, <laughs> give it a playing feeling. So, so that it looks like a tennis court? Yeah, and look at these controllers. These controllers are insane. So this is like vertical, horizontal. So you had to learn. It's like Pong, but just it's Pong, fancier. but I think it's the next version of Pong. So you couldn't talk about gaming without some pinball machines, obviously. So these things are ridiculous to see. I haven't played pinball since God knows when. It's it's odd that it still works. Obviously, they put a lot of time and effort into these. It's a little sticky. It's a little sticky. This is uh, this is ridiculous. What's this from? Wow, the uh... I'm not good at pinball. I'm not a pinball champ. Did you have fun? I had fun. Hey, right. we're done. We're done. So that was that. Thanks, guys, for coming along. You need to check this out. If you live in the GTA in Ontario, you need to come see this. It's amazing. If you're visiting Toronto, come to the Science Center. There's awesome other things as well. But if you're into video games, there's this amazing exhibit that's going to be opening. So we'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye. bye. Good. <laughs>